Hey, what is up everyone? Brian, Ramen Adventures here. And behind me is beautiful Lake Biwako. Now what am I doing here at Biwako? Well, I'm here to talk about invasive species. Actually, there is a there is an invasive species here. Some kind of uh, carp. Someone introduced, you know what? Let's cut away to some voiceover. I gotta look up Wikipedia. All right, back in Tokyo. So. I knew that there was some story about uh, Lake Biwa, Biwako, and some invasive species. I didn't remember the details. Completely randomly, uh, the taxi driver, taking me to the station, started talking about fish. Completely random. And actually gave me a, uh, a guide for the local fish. He just had this piece of paper. He just, he opened with this one. <laughs> In English, it's called the bluegill. And what happened was in the 60s, the emperor of Japan, of all people, went to America and he thought, hey, let's bring this bluegill back to Japan. Let's see if maybe it's something that Japan can incorporate into their natural environment. I, I think he liked, I think he had some bluegill he liked in America. Delicious. Flooded the waters with bluegill and um, they decimated the local population of natural indigenous fish. There's some really famous fish in Lake Biwa that have been part of uh, historically Japanese food culture for uh, hundreds, thousands of years. I don't know, but they were decimated by these bluegills. And ever since then, there's been a big effort to basically eradicate the bluegill population. Shin carp which they actually used to make uh, funizushi, which is something uh, super interesting. Please do not make a funizushi ramen. Okay, thank you for that. And speaking of invasive species, let's talk about piranhas. But before we talk about that, let's talk about gente. Now what is gente? And especially gente ramen. The phrase gente literally means limited. And when it comes to ramen, we always have examples of gente ramen. So these gente ramen bowls, they're really a way for a ramen shop to kind of do something crazy, express themselves artistically, use strange ingredients, sometimes even charge a little bit more because they're really sourcing something they probably wouldn't put on a regular menu. Now for me, uh, gente ramen is usually pretty good or usually terrible. You don't get a lot in between, but the thing I like about Gente Ramen is it's fun. And uh, this Piranha Ramen was definitely fun. So I originally heard about this Piranha Ramen back on April 1st of this year. Yes, it was an April Fool's joke, 100%. Of course it was a joke, but they had so much interest that they decided to actually go ahead with it. They decided to go ahead with it and make Piranha Ramen on a four-day limited event. They flew in 2,000 piranhas from the Amazon, flash frozen, shipped to Japan. They had to ship it via America, then to Japan. Apparently they spent almost $30,000 to get this fish here. It's a lot of money. Kind of crazy, kind of cool, definitely in the realm of Gente. So this is the spot here in Asakusa, the ninja cafe, bar, restaurant, I don't know, not the type of place I usually come to, but yeah, they're having their Piranha Ramen event going on today. So I'll check it out. Is it going to be Gente Poi? could be. My hopes are not that high for it, but it's piranha ramen. It's weird. It's interesting. Uh, I got some ramen friends coming. We're going to check it out. Let's do this. Amazon ga. Amazon kara dare ga tsureta. Amazon ga tsutta no Nihon ni motte kite sore o tsukatte yaru Nihon hatsu no ramen. Amazon de piranha soup tabete koto arimasu. Ah, boku mo arimasu. Kyo wa chinami ni koi niko yoi shitemashite. Kore ga piranha hontai. Hai. Kore ga piranha no niboshi desu. 
、煮干しって分かりますもちろん天日干ししてスカスカになったのがこれでこれでだしを取ります、はい、100% ピ,ラニピュアピラニアスープスープは 100% ピラニア, 100% ピ,ラニアピラニアスープ煮干しだしで,そで、えー、とこれがトッピングでドーンと乗ります触りたかったらこれつけたら触ってもいいですよ触りますはい All right, natural. Well, here we go. We got、uh, the niboshi, Purana, so dried. Used for, make the da- used for making the dashi. Smells like niboshi. And oh my god, what? Yo, check this out. <laughs> That's a fresh Purana. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That smells all right. Take care, it might bite you back. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell bad, so it's good,、uh, good fish. <laughs> let's do this, man. All right, let's get some piranha ramen at the Ninja Cafe. Ramen. Actually, no. <laughs> the soup was mega salty. It was actually overly salty. I think that they made a mistake, even. It was so overly salty.、Uh, I probably should have complained, but I didn't. The fact it was so salty, I couldn't have more than、uh, two sips of, of that soup. Just brutal, brutal saltiness. So salty that, yeah, I think it was actually they did something wrong when they were serving it. Because it was a, a chef from an actual ramen shop who I don't think would make that mistake. But okay, soup's out.、Oh. Oh, you, you did well. Yeah, man. Good f i l l e t i n g s t i l l All right, managing to get some decent meat pieces off this. The topping of that giant, giant piranha, I actually liked it. You know, people told me that piranha is not good meat and it's full of little tiny bones in every bite. But、uh, whatever, the way they cooked it, they deep fried it, the way that they cooked it, The meat just came off in four perfect pieces for me. Four bites, a very meaty fish, kind of like a Thai、uh, snapper. So I actually、uh, I enjoyed eating that piranha meat. So yeah, the, the meat, I was into it.、Uh, my friends I went with, they were not into it as much. And that's all right. I did go with、uh, three friends Abram, the ramen beast. I went with Sebastian from Nama Japan TV and my other buddy, Adley, who is not on social media at all. And yeah, we had a good time. It was definitely、uh, expensive. The ramen was 3,000 yen and the topping was an extra 2,500 yen. So the total price 5,500 yen, about 50 bucks US. For- スープはど,どんな感じなのスープピラニアですねピラニアとあと生姜ネギはいでピラニアちょっと臭いからあのー、1回茹でて2番だしって言って2回目使うんですよなるほど2回茹でるんですよねスープはあら違った違うあの煮干し
えっとね煮干しじゃピラニアの煮干し自分で作ったんですよ。ああなるほど。そうこれピラニアの煮干し自分で作って。そう。ああ自分で。そう煮干しあの塩で茹でて干すんですよ。そうなんだ。はい。なかなかフレッシュなのを入れるのが難しいです。Back in. I could have finished it. Crushed it. Boom. I'm a liar.